I'm down! I made a friend today! Kip, really? You did? Yeah! My goal this video is to call this movie by the proper name, which is not unfriended. No, it's the same. What's up, YouTube? Today we're gonna be wa we've been watched. Today we saw the year and a half old movie Friend Request, a German film that has just made its way to the American cinema. Connor, what is the plot of Friend Request? Friend Request um, is about a strange girl who has no friends. Um, Change got pretty loud and horns since I can hear it. Fucking. 40 blocks away from where it fucking is. It's kind of a point. This film follows a girl who has a bunch of friends, uh, and eventually this girl tries to friend her, her friends are on Facebook, and she adds her back. But this girl turns out to be a witch, and she decides this bitch is weird, so she doesn't invite her to her birthday party. Uh, and this causes the girl to fucking kill herself and then try to kill her, all of her friends. And then at the end of the movie, she tracks down, well it turns out this bitch is a witch. Like the girl who killed herself apparently. And the cops were like, she killed herself, but we can't find the body. So we're just gonna assume she killed herself for some reason. And then all of her friends start killing themselves and it's because the witch is causing them Possessing them or something or maybe killing. I don't know. I don't know. They're killing themselves. The witch is killing them The movie makes no damn sense. But anyways, the girl becomes a witch at the end as well Don't forget so. the uh, She kills herself and No, they're She's gone for three days and for some reason the cops assume that she's killed herself Even though they don't know where her body is. They're just like yeah, she killed herself. Right, so that's the rules but yes. Yeah, but she didn't mention that they just kind of like assumed that she killed That's herself. That's what I said. I said the cops assumed she killed herself. Uh, they said that specifically about how incompetent those fucking cops are. Uh, so anyways, Aiden, what did you think of Unfriend Request, dude? We've said this a lot this year, but this is easily the worst movie of 2017. We probably used easily, and we probably said we've said this a lot this year, but... This one, unironically, which worse we probably than said a lot this five. year. Worse than The Mummy. Worse than... Worse than Yoga Hosers? Let's be honest. Worse than Yoga Hosers, yes or no? This movie is essentially... It's a fusion. Um, it has... The ending is the plot twist from Rings, which came out... After, after this movie, but exactly. still, it has the same generic plot twist after where before. she becomes the ghost. Or, uh, not it's a, a generic plot twist, twist that's happened a Which. trillion times. Well, it is what it is. She becomes the it's demon, got, the witch, the ghost. Same idea. It's got the element... Um, I was reminded a lot of Blair Witch, even though that's not, uh, not fully a part of the movie. But yeah. the, the big two are... Number one is Unfriended, obviously, because it's about a ghost on Facebook. Uh, this movie, Unfriended, had the gimmick where the it was social all... social media gimmick. Unfriended had the social media gimmick, but also had the gimmick where everything was on the computer screen, where it was like, you only saw the characters through Skype, which was a shit gimmick, but yeah. it made the movie stand out. As opposed to just being fucking garbage. Well, it lived with the genre it was in because it invented the social media horror movie genre. As much as I hate to admit that it kind of started that genre. I'm sure there's more examples, but these are the two that were theatrically released and widely. The other part is Candyman because uh, to kill people, the witch, ghost, demon thing would sting people with bees that made them kill themselves. Yep. Uh, except for the except for the guy who stabbed the main character who just 
got stung by bees so hard that he died. But regardless, yeah. um, the the movie is silly as fuck. Like I spent this movie wasn't scary at all. It had like three jump scares. Uh, it wasn't scary. It was just fucking dumb. But I was laughing my ass off the whole movie. The first thing that the the main character is introduced with, she has like her name up here. And like the amount of friends she has, and every time another character dies, the ghost uploads the video of the character dying to Facebook, and she loses friends, and she loses friends. I like how she eventually faster. goes down to zero, like none of her friends are spam or like <laughs> Mexican people that don't speak English that are like, please have sex with me. Like, even when I was on Facebook, I was getting, like, Mexican people trying to friend me, and I'm like, who are these motherfuckers, uh, and how did they find me? <laughs> but if you accidentally added one, like, you're just like, oh, I might know a fucking, fucking Julio Lopez or something like that. All of a sudden, you have, like, 80 Mexicans friending you, and I'm like, am I part of a cartel now or some shit? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> but anyway... Uh, <laughs> But yeah, but it would time, be weird because it would be like, okay, strike every, one, somebody dies, somebody kills themselves on your Facebook, strike one, she loses like a hundred friends. Happens a second time, like another hundred people are like, I can't deal with this, but like 500 people are like, that's strike two, you know what I'm saying? Like, you show me one more person literally <laughs> killing themselves on the camera and I will unfriend uh, you for real this time. There's like this ridiculous so subplot going on where there's... Uh, Biggie Smalls and uh, the guy from Arrow are cops. Oh, All yeah. of her crew <laughs> from Arrow are cops. And they keep accusing her of selling super drugs to kids that make them kill themselves. No, their plot actually they literally makes no sense. sense. Their they plot makes no sense. sense. They no. ask her if they're doing super drugs. They don't but imply that she's the seller at Essentially, all. They, they believe... They just fucking want to toss her in jail with no evidence. Essentially, they believe for some reason that she's the killer, even though there's mountains of video evidence that these people just go crazy and kill well, they're themselves. Well, like grabbing knives like, and there's literally killing a, themselves. There's and literally video of all her friends like slitting their own throats and stuff and they're like, you're the killer. You're well, going yeah. to jail, you fucking cunt. You think, they're trying to toss her in jail so bad, but, but then any also, competent cop you would think would be like, okay, what type of drugs are they on? Like, they ask over her there, and over but again. more and more and less, they don't even care, like, if they're really on drugs. They're like, we're going to put you in jail. Over She's and over like, again. It's a witch. The cops are like, why do you keep posting the videos of people killing themselves? And she's like, I can't delete it. Because every time she tries to delete the posts or Facebook, they show this one scene where there's, like, this, the nerdy friend hacks the computer, and the code, instead of being normal code, is, like, rainbow-colored and... Egyptian hieroglyphs. <laughs> <laughs> Witches, I guess, are Egyptian people. Um, but too. anyway, uh, the Egyptian hieroglyphs. Well, can I point something out about the cops, too, that you kind of neglected to mention? I think the I fact. Was just getting to it. Oh, I was going to say the fact that she repeatedly couldn't delete her face. Yeah, I know. said, I can't delete the video. She can't the delete it. Are like, I don't believe you. And she can't like, well, delete there's it. no way I can prove it. Like, she can't delete this shit. Because every time she tries to delete it, it's like unknown error. And, um... Her laptop's open she, in front of the cops. She never shows the cops. She's never like, take a look, try to delete my Facebook, coppers. Because she's fucking dumb. Because this movie's fucking stupid and poorly thought out by some fucking German cuck on $10 million filming in South Africa. Because he probably got a budget cut for doing it. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, that's definitely. Um, right. I don't know why you said yeah. probably. <laughs> <laughs> this movie came out a year and a half ago in Germany. Just uh, not for surprised. reference. But anyway, um, and it's also the lowest growing, mo grossing movie to be in two hundred fifty thousand. Two hundred twenty-five hundred theaters. Twenty-five hundred theaters. Which you got to keep out, in mind. That's that's a U.S. theaters. That's fifty theaters per state. When you think about it, that's quite a few theaters. The past lowest mean. was Inappropriate Comedy, starring... No. Uh, the no I'm getting Victor that. Frankenstein. Rob Schneider and Lindsay Lohan, which was beaten out by Victor Frankenstein, which starred Daniel Radcliffe and was written by Max Landis. This movie made less money than those two movies. 
To be fair, this movie didn't have the star This is literally right, but bottom of the I'm movie. actually sort of baffled that Victor Frankenstein made such a low amount of money, to be honest. Because of Daniel Radcliffe? Daniel Radcliffe and the fact that it's a Frankenstein movie, you think would somehow over t the amount of theaters make at least some... Not profit, I can believe that it would be a flop, but the lowest grossing, even more lower than Rob Schneider and Lindsay fucking Lohan's 2013 or 14 movie. The and Universal yeah, Monsters have an unfortunate curse yeah. where they've, they're they so popular that they've pretty much become associated with just being like cheap Halloween they're not decorations. not even fucking popular. You can't, well make, yeah, I guess in that. Like Frankenstein is a cheap Halloween decoration. Because it's public point. domain. It's just, it's, it's just synonymous. You can't make a kids don't people watch Hell of Goats. People don't Seriously. kids don't watch the original Dracula movie, but the original Dracula movie, every single person can impersonate Bill Lugosi's performance. Exactly. It's become too iconic for its own good. It's Saturday it's become, Night Live skits. It became pop culture, but it didn't. It's, it's a, not something that's popular by the popular culture. It's a tacky ironically. Halloween puppet that you hang on your front door so that people know it's October. Count Count is more famous than Dracula. But I, regardless, I we're kind of getting off track to. on the topic of the Facebook ghost movie. Um, yeah. You know, this yeah. movie essentially is just hot garbage. It's only like an hour and 20 minutes long. Uh, thank God. Because if it was any longer, I probably would have shot myself in the brain. It fell um, its length and then some. <laughs> but, you know, the movie is fucking boring. It's pretty much uh, the main character has no charisma and doesn't do anything for herself. She just cries a lot and the yeah. nerdy guy solves all her problems for her. Uh, all her friends slowly commit suicide until the nerdy go guy goes crazy. I suppose, in a way, kind of the... The horror movie twists, like every horror movie has to have a twist, especially in the modern era. But the horror yep. movie twist was that her friend, the nerdy guy, tries to kill her because he's like, if I kill her, then I'll be safe. And uh, but then that's resolved in about four seconds when he gets eaten by bees. That's so stupid too. But you can finish what you're saying. Um, you know, overall. The movie's pretty much just like a generic pile of crap where you got the same jump scares as the goddamn insidious movies. It's literally, most of the movies, person walks in dark room and there's like a zombie and the zombie goes Aah! and it has like pointy teeth and it gets right up in the camera and they do that literally every time someone dies. They go Aah! with like the spooky face girl. Well, Who's they had to make it scary. And then the girl cries a whole bunch. There's like seven funeral scenes in this movie, and she just cries a lot. And um, you know, the plot for a movie that's only an hour and 15 minutes long, the plot has about 15 million plot holes, and it just keeps getting worse. Uh, they basically move from boring set piece to boring set piece to have spooky thing happen. And then at the end, she gets sucked into the computer, and then she gets spit out, and she's the creepy girl now. She's the creepy goth girl that was the main character. The, the, creepy, the creepy goth girl at the start of the movie is now her. She becomes that. And that's, like, pretty much the most generic shit twist that's been in every cheap horror movie for ages. I mean, even the original Paranormal Activity had that, where... The girl becomes possessed by the ghost at the end and goes, Arr! and they do that in this movie where the last, like the second to the last scene, she goes into the mirror and then the mirror goes, Arr! and then the next scene is her sitting at the table and she's like, I'm the spooky goth girl that becomes a ghost now. And uh, it's pretty much just like a fucking, it's a fucking shit pile. Yeah. Uh, so Connor, talk about it. Well, as Aiden said, this movie's quite shitty. Perhaps the shittiest of the year. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it'll hit shittiest of the year when we finally make the ranking in December, but we'll see. It's going to be pretty low down there. It's going to be one of the worst of the year, definitely. Um, and we do say that a lot. 
I think it's easy to say this is the worst movie of the year. Um, but this movie was bad. It, like, you know, you look at Mother, and the reason I disliked Mother was because the movie annoyed me quite a bit, especially on the sound art editing area of it. But if you look at Mother technically compared to this movie, this movie is hundreds of times worse than Mother in the way of technical stance, but which annoyed me more? Which got me out of the theater in an hour and 20 minutes? You know what I'm saying? It's like, would I rather stab myself and would I rather fucking cut my penis off quick and easy or shove a needle in my pee hole for an extra hour? I'm really drunk right now, that makes no sense. But what I'm saying is, would I rather endure a lot of pain real quick, or would I rather let the pain stretch out? Is it the worst movie of the year? Which is my ultimate point I was getting to. On the technical level. I don't know. We'll decide that later on. Is it fucking terrible? Oh, well, of course this movie was fucking terrible. Uh, this movie felt like a student film. Which, in a way, it was the director's first film. So part of it I give him a pass, but it did feel like a student film. And the other problem is, when foreign movies try to capture American culture, but the film was shot in South Africa, it was by German people, but it's supposed to be an American film, oftentimes it doesn't translate well. And I just genuinely think the genre of social media horror movies just doesn't really work super well. Like, I get what they're going for, I get the concept, but when you're doing the social media horror idea, what you're trying to do is appeal to the modern generation and make it topical. But the thing is, is it doesn't fully work out. I mean, first off, no one in America, a lot of people use Facebook still, but it's not like one of those things where like, this movie blew it out of proportion. Like, Facebook's your fucking life. And then, and then they were trying to like, do this meta thing where like, witchcraft and the mirrors of to Facebook. Oh, and the girl. And I feel like that was supposed to be their social commentary, but it just felt like it felt like somebody in film school would be like, the "Social girl, media is hell" or something. I don't know. The girl, the, the emo girl, who's the witch, posts all these spooky gifs to her Facebook account. And they're all like images of her life where she's like she yeah. gets beat up by the boys at her orphanage and like the blood splatters on her thing. Also, the scene yeah. where her mom gives birth to her, like her mom dies in a house fire, but they keep her alive, and she's literally a fucking skeleton, and they deliver the baby from her. Everything in this movie is fucking laughably it's awkward. It's like so dumb. Honestly, this movie felt like a cash out, but it also felt like the director, like, like I don't know. I bet I, I don't know the full origins of this movie, but. This sort of felt like a student short film that got extended to two hours. Like, I don't think it is, because I kind of looked into the movie. Granted, I'm no expert. I didn't, like, follow the production or look too deep into it. But it kind of had a vibe. Like, it felt like a student film that would be, like, 15 minutes long. It was blown out to an hour and a half. Um... The acting in this movie was... The acting in this movie... You know, I said... Could you please push the phone out for 15 more minutes? But the acting in this movie is probably some of actually the worst acting. The actually... Okay. The acting in this movie was the worst acting all year. The movie is Easily. This is like porno level. This is like... I'm making a student film, and I'll take literally any actor that auditions level. Like, it was poorly acted. in Fear the Walking Dead, Connor? Well, I don't have anything, uh, you know, the actors and the credits, but it felt more like a direction problem. Like, the actors and actresses 
were they probably top-notch actors? Definitely not. But it felt like the directing angle was a big part of what made the acting so weird and bad. Because part of it was the dialogue. It was written by German people, translated and slightly cleaned up to English, but it still didn't really... Like, when you listen to the audio, it doesn't feel right. Like, I know sometimes movies, even English, complete English productions, English as in, like, American or, or like, European, English-speaking European productions have the thing, but you look at this film and it feels like a foreign person from the outside, like, he's like, eh, I probably know enough English to make a movie, and he writes out the dialogue, and he wouldn't budge and be like, yeah, it was you can make this make more sense, Dad. That felt clunky, and that's part of what made this movie almost, like, funny. Like, this movie wasn't... Like, Mother was un horrible, uncomfortable. I didn't like sitting through it. It was, like, getting raped in the ears constantly because the sound editing was annoying. This movie was like a fucking comedy. Like, honestly, like, if they just knew how to make funny jokes and add those in, too, the fucking movie would have been a damn knee slapper. It was so funny. Like, I couldn't... I probably found myself, well, I definitely found myself laughing more than I found myself scared. And obviously this movie falls in the modern tropes of, this is scary, you know, when you make a loud noise. But try to watch this thing on DVD. That's all I'm going to say. Try to watch this thing on DVD without 40 speakers, Adobe surround sound, it's not scary. I don't really get faced by jump scares anymore. They don't scare me because I've seen enough jump scare movies where it's just like you sit there, you hear, and then it's like the next, the movie continues. And it's like, it's not scary. It's not all that impressive. And the shot composition and like effects felt lazy. It was just one of those movies where it was like, I feel like this movie was a small production in Germany, they got put out, and originally that was going to be it. Warner Brothers found it one way or another, decided to pick it up and put it out, mostly because social media and horror movies sell. Uh, in this context, it didn't, because it flopped. One of the biggest flops in history, but... Um, they thought it would sell, so they probably picked it up for fairly cheap, and that's why it's coming out later, but... Did you read about yeah. that Shia LaBeouf movie that came out last year? What movie? Shia LaBeouf made this war movie, and it had a really limited run, granted, but it's, um, its first weekend box office was seven euros, literally one ticket. It was played in like, theaters. it was only played in like 50 theaters in Europe. 50 in European theaters, but still but one ticket. One single human being that saw means that movie 49 on the first weekend. of the theaters <laughs> sold zero tickets and one theater sold <laughs> Literally one single and person Shia saw was a, in the movie. One single person saw the movie in its opening weekend. One single human being on this planet had the pleasure of seeing it. Literally the lowest grossing movie? film. It was a war movie. With Shia LaBeouf. Yes. And it did Literally the happen. lowest grossing film. How is that time. possible? It Literally, beat out, how is that possible? It beat out that one movie, Ziz Road, which used to be the lowest, where um, the movie Ziz Road used to be the lowest with, uh, I think, 21 US dollars. But the director, the director refunded one of the people, so it ended up having 14 US dollars as its opening weekend. This movie did, that movie did worse than that. Literally the lowest grossing film of all time. Seven euros. When you translate that to American dollars, it's like 11 Well, when you look at the theater fees and stuff, the movie, 11 bucks. Not counting the fee not counting theater fees, the movie made eleven dollars and it probably has I don't even remember. Whatever, what I'll look it up after. But point is this movie fucking sucked. Is it the worst? Yes. Honestly at this point I'm gonna quit saying what's the worst and what's not the worst, because we'll have a definitive list at the end of December or early January. But at this point, it's a contender. 
It is definitely a contender. Will we change our mind when the movie sits with us? Will we change our mind when we see a new movie that we say is the worst of the year? Because we still have, what, three months left of the year? The worst movie of the year. We're going to say another movie is the worst movie of the year by the time this year is over. This is a high contender. It's definitely going to be in the bottom five. The, the, the definitely terrible movies, along with Transformers 5, which unless every movie we see for the rest of the year is completely fucking beyond garbage. It's going to be in the top five worst. I mean, this movie sucked. I hated it. So Aiden, would you recommend this film? No. Would you recommend this? Uh, I, no. I would not recommend this film. Um, it's a student movie. I guess, like, I'm trying to think of a situation. Part of it's that I'm too drunk. Part of it's that this movie's got awful. But do not watch this movie. Never watch this movie. Don't think about watching this movie. Honestly, Don't catch this movie on Netflix in two weeks. If you're the one person on planet Earth that says, I want to see a horror movie about social media, watch Unfriended. Because this makes Unfriended look like a fucking masterpiece. It's like. It's like this is Star Wars Attack of the Clones, and Unfriended is Empire Strikes Back, basically. <laughs> it's the comparison I could make. Yeah. This movie was very bad. Yep. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. <laughs>